morning. Good morning. Is my mic on? Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, as Pastor Beth said, my name is Ashley Lindsay. I'm still a relatively new uh, addition to St. Luke's. So when Craig Christensen and I were talking about prepping this ministry moment, he said, make it personal. So because we're still kind of new, I thought I'd share some fun facts because that's what you do when you are getting to know people. Uh, so fun fact about me, I started singing in choirs when I was in the fourth grade. And with the exception of a natural disaster and a master's degree, I haven't stopped. So I, when I was looking for a new church community, I was driving around town, visiting different spaces. This was pre-COVID. And I paid the closest attention to how music was supported in each of the churches that I visited. I paid attention to music during the service. I paid attention to the number of groups and opportunities that there were for making music. And I especially paid attention to the quality of the music in each church. When I attended St. Luke's, I realized right away, this is a community that prioritizes music. I mean, there's even a music tab on the website. It's like the second tab. And not just nice music to listen to, but music to participate in between the multiple levels of bell choir, the rejoice choir, the marimbas, the worship team, the Hosanna choir, we've got a great organist. There's a lot of opportunity here, and that really called to something I was looking for. So fun fact number two, since we've started back this fall, you don't see me down here very often because I spend my church service mostly up there with the rest of the Rejoice Choir in the choir loft. Uh, when I joined St. Luke's, it was <laughs> when I joined St. Luke's, it was January of 2020. So uh, and the first thing I did was I joined the choir. Uh, choirs for me are an opportunity to share my talents and skills, really feed my soul, and especially to engage in community. Choirs are a community. And I was really fortunate to connect with the choir when I did because, as we all know, a few months later, we went into quarantine and everything went online, including choir. Without the connection to that group every week for virtual rehearsals, it would have been really easy for me to just kind of slip away again and not have continue to build the community here that I have. Um, so I'm incredibly grateful that I did not just slip away and that we continue to have the opportunity to make music together and for this group that has really welcomed me in as a part and representative of this community. So the last fun fact, my undergraduate degree is actually in music education. Uh, it's not what I'm doing now. Thank you, No Child Left Behind. Um, now I work with students who experience disabilities, and it's perfect. It's right where I need to be. Uh, but between going to school with lots of musicians and now my many years of performing with musicians, I have a lot of friends and acquaintances in my circle who are musicians by trade. And a number of them are or have been church musicians, right? Church, it's still the number one employer of classically trained musicians for the last thousand years or so. So through my experiences with my friends, I've learned how unique it is to have a congregation that can support a full-time director of music ministries. This has allowed us to have had Dan for so many years, and now to have the talents of Jerry with us, we're so fortunate. Uh, this is what allows us to have the breadth and variety of music opportunities that we do here at St. Luke's. And all of this takes prioritizing financial resources to say this is important to us. So thank you. Thank you for creating space for me in this congregation through the choir. Thank you for generously supporting music and musicians. And thank you for prioritizing music as a critical part of worship. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go run back up to the choir loft. <laughs>